I focus on Android.com where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Anyway, today we're going to go ahead and root our Galaxy S5. Um, currently, as of this video, there is root method uh, for all the Galaxy S5s except for AT&T and Verizon. Um, I'll have I'll show you two different root methods. The first root method I will install custom recovery. Uh, which will allow you to install custom ROMs and also root your phone. The second method, I uh, will be using CF Auto Root by Chainfire, which will allow you to root your phone, um, but not install Clock My Recovery. I have two different methods depending on how you want to attack it. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let's go do this, baby. Uh. All right, let me go ahead and show you the first root method. This root method will install a custom recovery, a Clock My Recovery, so you can install custom ROMs. And also, it will allow you to uh, root your phone. So both, um, you kill two birds with one stone. Now, this is going to work on all the Qualcomm-based Galaxy S5 models, um, except for AT&T and Verizon. AT&T and Verizon have lock bootloader, um, so you'll have to wait for that. Uh, by the time you see this video, there might be a method. Check my site, galaxys5root.com, and check the FAQ there, the root FAQ. Um, you know, it should be there. If, you, if you're seeing this uh, later in the future. Um, so this root method will be supported on uh, T-Mobile, Sprint, Metro PCS, Canadian, US Cellular, uh, Middle and South America, and also international Qualcomm models. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, the first thing you'll wanna do uh, is basically put it into download mode. So go ahead and turn your phone off. Go ahead and power off. And uh, I've got my T-Mobile Galaxy S5, uh, but uh, it works on all the said models. All right, once it is powered off, uh, what you want to do is hold down the volume down here, uh, center home, and the power button all together. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hold down the volume down first, and the center home, and then the power button. Hold it for about two seconds, or three seconds, until you get this warning sign, let go of all the buttons. Go ahead and hit the volume up. And go ahead and connect a micro USB cable. I actually recommend a USB 2.0 cable uh, because I was having trouble using uh, USB 3.0. Uh, for some reason, Odin doesn't like USB 3.0 too much. So I do recommend using a USB 2.0. Don't use a USB port, uh, port hub. Um, connect it directly to a port on your computer. Connect it, there you go, and let's go to our computer. All right, next. You'll need to download three different files, uh, basically Odin, um, Odin program, which is what you need. Uh, also, I'll have links to this, and also the latest version of SuperSU. I'll be using version 1.94 uh, here, uh, but uh, there may be new versions. You can use the latest version. I will always work the best if you use the latest version. And also, you will need Phil's touch uh, recovery. Um, this is the file that ends in tar.md5. I'll also have a link to that. Download all of these three files, um, and also go ahead and unzip the Odin 3. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, unzip the Odin 3 file here. And basically, I'll have this Odin program and a bunch of other files, the SuperSU and Phil's Touch. Um, next, what you'll do is run the Odin v1.85.exe. You can also use uh, Odin 3.07. Uh, that's up to you, uh, for those of you who don't know it. Open it up. And uh, make sure you, you see a yellow highlighted sign. Now, if you don't see it, try unplugging and plugging your phone back in. Um, if you see this, you're ready to go. If you don't see this, that means you need to install the uh, Samsung USB drivers. I'll have also a link to that. Um, for Windows, you can go ahead and download the EXE program. Uh, simply double click on the USB drivers, it will install it. Um, go ahead and reboot and redo this process until you see this yellow highlighted sign um, with a random COM number. The COM number doesn't matter as long as you get one. And then go ahead and choose a PDA here. And I'm going to go ahead and go find the fills touch uh, blah blah dot tar dot md5. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and hit open. This is the uh, custom recovery we're going to go ahead and install. Uh, go ahead and hit start. And this will install a custom clock remote recovery on your Galaxy S5. And um, this should take another second or two. And if it says reset pass, you're good to go. Uh, if you don't see that, um, you know, make sure you're using the correct version of uh, Galaxy S5. Now your phone should have rebooted. Go ahead and plug in back to the computer because there's a file you have to copy over. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it back into my computer. 
You can go ahead and close this up. You don't need this um, screen there. And go back to the files you've downloaded. Go ahead and um, copy, do a copy on uh, update super SU, right? This is the, the super SU zip file. Do not unzip, do not unzip like that. You're gonna get a bunch of folders that you don't need. Um, go ahead and copy it. And once you see Galaxy S5, go to your phone storage and go ahead and paste it anywhere. I'm gonna just go ahead and paste it in the main uh, root directory there. Um, that's good. Now let's go to the next step. All right, in this next step, we're gonna go ahead and power off our phone. So go ahead and power off. And instead of doing volume down, we're gonna use volume up here. Um, same thing with the buttons. Go ahead and hit, hold down the volume up button, center home, and then the power button. Hold it for about two, three seconds until you see recovery booting at the top in blue. It says recovery booting there. And go ahead and give it a second. And you should see your new custom recovery. This is the Phil's uh, Touch Recovery. It is an awesome recovery. Uh, by the way, don't forget to donate to the developer of Phil's Recovery. Um, I'll have links at the end of this video or on my site, actually. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, do this. So next thing, what you wanna do, go ahead and use the volume button and choose install zip and go ahead and hit the power button or the center button, doesn't matter. You can also use your hand to do it, but if you're new to uh, rooting Galaxy S5, I suggest you using the volume button so you don't make any mistakes. And then go ahead and choose zip from SD card. The first, op oops. the first option there, go ahead and hit the power button. And then go ahead and use the keys to find the Super SU zip file you copied over earlier. This is what will actually root your phone and install Super SU. Uh, another great zip file by um, XA user Chainfire. Don't forget to also donate to him. Without these two guys, um, this route might have not been possible so quickly. Um, so go ahead and uh, choose that, hit the power button, and go ahead and say yes, install update super su dash uh, blah blah dot zip, depending on which version you got. Uh, hopefully the latest version. Version 1.94 and uh, later should work for, for uh, rooting. Um, Go ahead and uh, when that's done, go ahead and hit the home button, uh, hit go back, and go ahead and hit the reboot system now. And once it's rebooted, your Galaxy S5 should be fully uh, rooted with Super SU. There's one more step. We're gonna have to disable Nox because it's just gonna get in the way. Uh, and most of us don't like Nox. It's, it's like kind of pointless. Um, it doesn't actually, um, it doesn't really protect you from anything. It just gives you headaches. Uh, I wish Samsung really would remove that. So we've rebooted here. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and find Super SU and go ahead and run it once. All right, and ignore that. Whoops. Go ahead and go back and go ahead. Make sure you hit OK when Samsung Knox has been um, detected. This will disable Knox, and your phone should be fully rooted. Um, there we go, and. There we go, Super SU is installed. Now to verify you have full roots, uh, simply go ahead and go to Play Store, uh, download Titanium Backup, which is a free app, that, uh, a free rooted app that will back up all of your apps, which I highly recommend um, to use because it will back up your apps, your app data, uh, whenever you install new ROMs. And uh, there we go. And go ahead and open. And you should see asking for uh, root right boom shakalaka there we go make sure you hit grant and you have a fully uh, rooted galaxy s5 now this root method again will install custom recovery custom recovery will allow you to back up your rom basically back up everything on your phone uh, if something goes wrong you'll have a copy somewhere it's a great way to back up your uh, phone and also you'll be able to install custom roms um, so very great but if you don't need that you just need root um, you can follow my root method too uh, which is basically using uh, C uh, Chainfire CF root uh, which will just root your phone without the custom recovery now advantage with that one is that you can easily do OTA over the air updates if you want to stay uh, stock for the rest of the month um, to receive OTA updates with that method uh, basically you can unroot uh, using Super SU and just simply take OTA updates. Oops, let me go ahead and show you that real quick. Um, if you go ahead and hold down the recent button, whoop, there we go, go to settings and there is an option um, to uh, fully unroot. If you choose that, that will fully unroot um, your Galaxy S5. Now with this root method, since you've installed Clockmark Recovery, 
um, it's not going to get rid of that. But if you use the other method, root method too, you'll be able to fully unroot easily. I just want to show you that real quick. Um, so let's go ahead and show you the next root method. But if you just want to root and install uh, Clock My Recovery, that's your goal. You're done. Um, congratulations. And uh, I will see you guys soon. Uh, let's go to the next root method. All right, so in the second root method, we're going to use uh, Chainfire CF Auto Root. Um, it's nearly identical, just using a different file. Um, so go ahead and power off your Galaxy S5. Now, this will work on, uh, well, I'll show you all the devices supported. You should actually check Chainfire. Buyers, uh, page on XDA which shows you uh, which models are supported. Now this method does not install Clock My Recovery. Um, this method will only root your Galaxy S5. So let's go ahead and do this. Power off your phone. Same thing. Volume down. Center home. And the power button. Go ahead and hold them down together uh, for a couple seconds until you see the warning screen. Go ahead and hit volume up and this will put you into download mode. Go ahead and connect a USB 2.0 cable. Um, like I said, USB 3.0 cable have troubles. So go ahead and uh, plug in your USB 2.0 cable and let's go to our computer. All right, if you go to XDA, I'll have a link to this page. Um, you'll find the CF Auto Root page uh, by Chainfire. Go ahead and go down to about the third thread uh, in the download section. Let me go ahead and zoom in there for you. Um, you'll see that um, you can use this method on International Qualcomm, International Exynos. So find the model uh, that support it and go ahead and download the appropriate one. Now I'm actually using Sprint Galaxy S5 for this. So I've downloaded the SMG900P. Um, go ahead and download the zip file. All right, next, once you've downloaded this zip file auto roots, um, go ahead and unzip all the files here and go ahead and extract it. And you'll find all the files you'll need. Um, this time we'll use uh, v Odin 3, uh, v3 v3.07. You can also use uh, v185, it doesn't matter. Um, so you'll need to basically run Odin. All right, go, go ahead and double click it and you'll find a window like that. And you should see a com sign here, blue highlighted uh, box there with a random com number. If you don't see that, you don't have the USB drivers installed, go ahead and download the Samsung USB drivers, um, install it, reboot your computer, rerun this program and you should see the uh, blue highlight sign. Um, next go ahead and choose PDA and go ahead and find uh, the folder where you unzip all the files and go ahead and find the CF auto root blah blah dot tar dot md5. Um, go ahead and hit open and go ahead and hit start and this will pretty much uh, root your Galaxy S5 but it's not going to install any custom recovery. So this this is a great method for those of you uh, who want to root your phone, um, but you still want to take OTA updates. I mean, you can still take OTA updates uh, if you do install Clock My Recovery um, by installing uh, CWM flashable stock files. So you can actually do it both ways, um, but this might be easier uh, if you want to stay more stock. Uh, your phone should have now reset it, and my phone has actually reset it. And let me go ahead and show you here. And I will be back shortly when this is done. All right. All right, my phone has rebooted. Go ahead and go into apps here. Um, and you'll find a new app called Super SU. Congratulations. Go ahead and run it once. And make sure you hit OK when it says um, to disable Knox. Go ahead and hit OK. And this will disable Knox and give you full root without all the interruption uh, from Samsung's Knox, which we don't like. Um, go ahead and go to Play Store, download. Uh, you can go ahead and download Titanium Backup if you want, which is a free rooted app. Um, this will fully verify your phone has been fully rooted. All right, let's go ahead and install it real quick. Here, give it a second. And you know what, let me go ahead and stop all of this stuff that's going on. All right. And it's actually auto updating because I just signed into Play Store. Uh, let me go ahead and go to Titanium Backup again. Install, accept. Now, there we go. And it's installing. All right, let's go ahead and open it and you should have full root now. There we go. There we go. Uh, make sure you hit grant. You got uh, super user and full root on your Galaxy S5. 
Um, so those are the two different methods. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, go ahead and root your Galaxy S5. And thanks guys for watching this video. Um, I hope you guys root your phone and get your titanium backup installed. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to my other channel, my new channel, uh, Galaxy S5 Root, youtube.com slash Galaxy S5 Root, and also my new site, uh, Galaxy S5 Root.com, where I'll be putting all the custom ROMs, all the you know hacks. Um, the next video will probably be sim unlocking. I'm gonna put that in the new channel uh, because what happens is, you know, maybe a couple of years later down the road and somebody subscribed to my channel uh, and uh, they were interested in Galaxy S5, not Galaxy S6 or 7. Um, that's why I make new sites, um, new YouTube channels. Um, so you only get the information you need. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. Uh, my daughter has a new YouTube channel. Um, she's almost got 100. Um, our goal is to reach 100. Um, if you guys can subscribe to her uh, new YouTube channel. And she's got some really cool uh, books she's gonna have she has a bunch of really cool uh, Android books this is one of uh, her books here um, we're gonna go ahead and scan these to her new site peonystory.com um, she is super high on Android I did not tell her to get high on Android she just made this and uh, I just want to make a site for her so check that channel out I'll have in the descriptions or out here somewhere and thanks guys again for your support I will see you guys soon uh, as always stay on Android